Hey guys, this is Austin with Walton's TV, and this is Majistics. Today for our product spotlight, we're taking a look at our Pro Smoker PK100 Smokehouse. This is made with the same high quality craftsmanship and technology that is put into our Pro Smoker commercial smokehouses, but it's in a more compact and small unit that is perfect for home use. We've done a bunch of test cooks on this one here already, and I really do like this unit. It's performed fantastic. We've got digital controls on it that you can start out as low as 60 degrees, all the way up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and it's completely stainless, it's extremely well insulated, and it comes in at about $16.99 total cost, but there is also free shipping included on that. The Pro Smoker PK100 Smokehouse can hold close to 100 pounds of summer sausage. Be on the lookout because we're gonna have a full video review on our Walton's TV YouTube channel on this coming very soon. The automatic syringe injector is a brand new product for us, and what's gonna come with it is the, the syringe injector itself. We've got a three inch needle, our feed tube, and at the bottom of the feed tube, you can either attach a draw-off spike or a suction needle. Then it's also going to come with a few extra parts. We've got some extra O-rings and springs, as well as a bottle of oil. Each time that we squeeze the grip handle on the automatic syringe injector, marinade is going to feed up through the feed tube, and we're going to be able to continuously inject into our pork loin. Next up, our recipe for today, we cooked up some pork tenderloin, and you can either marinate or inject this with our Asian Sriracha marinade seasoning from Excalibur Seasoning. And then we took a, aluminum foil pans, laid them in the bottom, and then we smothered them with our paint is good uh, Sriracha pepper sauce. We threw these inside of our PK100 smokehouse and we set the temp to about 225 degrees and cooked them for about three hours just until the internal temperature on all of these was at at least 145 for at least five minutes. If you guys like sriracha flavored stuff, I would really highly recommend trying this. Uh, the flavor turned out great and I really love it. Finally, meat hacks. Our meat hack for today is using cure accelerators. A lot of our recipes call for a 12 hour holding period or holding your meat products overnight when you're making a cured sausage. And what this does is this allows the cure to begin working before you actually start smoking and cooking it. But if you guys wanna skip this step and you wanna go straight from processing into cooking, you can use something like a cure accelerator to avoid that holding period. We've got multiple different cure accelerators available at our website at waltonsink.com. There's things like smoke, smoked meat stabilizer, sodium erythorbate, or just plain cure accelerator. Or if you guys are making something like a snack stick or a summer sausage and you're using encapsulated citric acid to get that tangy flavor, encapsulated citric acid also functions like a cure accelerator. So if you're using one of these products, as soon as you're done making sausage and you stuff it into casings, you can go straight to your smokehouse and start cooking. If using cure accelerators in a pickle or a brine, do not save any leftover pickle. Only mix enough for immediate usage and discard any of your leftovers, which goes along with avoiding direct contact or storage between cure accelerators and cure and nitrites. And lastly, using cure accelerators will help improve flavor stability and it will promote an extended shelf life. Subscribe to Walton's TV, like and comment on this video, and as always, visit our website at waltonsinc.com or meatjustics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching Meatjustics. I'm Austin with Walton's TV. We'll see you guys next time.